guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kelsey. Kiela's running around here somewhere. I have to show you her St. Patrick's Day outfit later. But as you can tell from the title of this, I'm just going to have a sit down with y'all and update you a little bit on happy, exciting things that are going on in my life that I want to make note of. And if you're watching this, thank you for coming along. If you do enjoy this video, hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos, hit that subscribe button. So I originally planned this video to be slashed with a St. Patrick's Day video, but it just was <laughs> too much. So I did make myself a green drink, so that is why I'm drinking a green drink. This is not from Starbucks. I'm just reusing the cup from earlier, but that is why I have a green drink. And at the end, I will show you what I got for me and Keila to wear on St. Patrick's Day. So welcome. How are you doing? Uh, COVID restrictions are lifting now, I think throughout Canada. I haven't really been paying attention to the news because it is so depressing. I did hear in BC where I live that we can now gather outside with up to 10 people, but that same 10 people can only hang out with each other. So like that 10 can't go hang out with another group of 10 kind of thing. I don't think people are really listening to it, but things are easing a little bit here, which is a little nerve wracking. I do have anxiety and it is something I think about. I also am a little more anxious lately because I have a surgery coming up, a surgery that I've waited, I want to say almost two years for. <laughs> it's been a long time coming. So it's nothing major. I have had it once before. I had a cyst on my wrist that I had removed and it came back in a different spot. And every few years, I guess it comes back and it just bothers me because I was in school and we had to do typing tests and typing fast hurt so much. So I had to get it removed and it did help for a bit, but I would say about a year later it came back and now we're six years later, 2013. That's eight years. Oh my gosh. It's been another eight years. Um, so now it's starting to bother, like really bother me again. And I type for a living. I'm going to have that taken care of. What sucks though is originally my first surgery, I had the local, um, freezing. So I wasn't put to sleep or anything. I was awake for it. And it was one of the more traumatic things in my life. As traumatic as that sounds. I, well, I don't like needles. And so having it go into a spot where there's not much skin before you hit bone. I just, I can't. I don't even know how much the needle goes in, but I can't. And then I, cause I could feel them in my hand. I didn't feel pain, but I could feel them moving around and scraping. And I just was bawling my eyes out. And I had one nurse watching me, one nurse helping the surgeon. And the one watching me was like, are you and I was like, I just let it cry. It's fine. I just leave me alone. Nope. Nope. I am not going through that again. So I was like, please do what you do for like wisdom teeth or whatever. Put me out. So I don't quite know what anesthesia. I think I guess it's general, but I have to go into surgery daycare. And then I have to be released to a responsible adult. And I don't really have a responsible adult around here. So naturally, I'm going to bring my mom out. She is going to have the COVID vaccine by the time she comes. So that is exciting. We're still going to be really safe and really careful. I don't go out anywhere. I just go to work, the occasional grocery store. But other than that, I don't really go out much. So it's going to be as safe as possible. And I have to have it. <laughs> I have to have the responsible adult stay with me for a minimum of 24 hours after my surgery so she's just gonna come for a few days and then head back like it's not she's not coming for a vacation it's merely to help me out because I really don't have anyone that can come into my bubble that isn't part part of other bubbles this surgery just kept getting pushed it was originally supposed to be I think it was January 4th 2020 but that was the day after I was coming home from Christmas holidays and it was just too short of notice. So I had to say no. 
and then COVID happened and then in I want to say November I called them and they gave me a date of March 15th and then probably about three weeks ago they called and they said that I wasn't able to do it at the surgery center because they don't have the proper equipment for me aka I'm too big so that was a bummer I thought I would have to wait a very long time until a reschedule but luckily they got me in only a couple weeks later on April 1st which I've been told they can't pull an April Fool's on me in the afternoon because then they're the fools so I hope that's true but I cannot say anything for my mother she may or may not do something and I may or may not do something for her it's really lucky because I quit my job <laughs> I quit the worst job I've ever worked at and the most stressful job I've ever worked at. So I'm, I'm very happy to be leaving it behind for something really amazing. Uh, it's in an area of law that I've always wanted to be in and it's just very exciting. So I was concerned about trying to find a job and having to accommodate my surgery, but luckily it being on April 1st, the 2nd and the 5th are holidays. So the Friday and the Monday are holidays and I need about a week. So I only have to take, I think it was a day and a half off of work. So that's a day and a half that I, I won't actually have a job. Then on the 7th, I start my new job. So that is very exciting. I'm so, so, so excited. I'm not gonna be able to wear leggings and hoodies to work anymore, but that's okay. That's okay. I also won't be able to bring Keela with me to start because there's a wait list for dogs in the office. So I'm gonna try and retrain her to stay home by herself, but she is just as anxious as I am, but in a little chihuahua form. And the howling and the barking is fine because my landlord is gone during the day and her dogs bark too. So that is fine other than for Harley's sake, but I'm thinking of moving Harley into my room so that because Keela does most of her howling out there so to try and get her away from it but she also will scratch things and sometimes destroy things to the point where she might injure herself so I'm really looking and reviewing if it's really in her best interest to stay with me to start because my mom is coming down I might just send Keela back with her so that she can still have her interaction, less stress on her, because if anything happens to her, I don't know what I'll do. I just don't. I can't have her have a heart attack or something. I just can't. So I'm going to be thinking about that and that might be happening and that's going to be very, very, very sad because I already had to do that once. But so I, I know this wasn't a long video or a very exciting one, but I will show you Keela's outfit now and my stuff that I have for St. Patrick's Day and bid you farewell. Come here, babe, show him your shirt. Come here. Yay! So they did have this dress that I wanted. I've been eyeing it forever. I was hoping to snag it when it went on sale after St. Patrick's Day. But when I went to PetSmart, on the weekend they were having like a flash sale so there wasn't really anything left except for these little shirts and but the dress said little miss shenanigans and it was just perfect for her but this is also really cute and people are gonna think she's a boy but whatever people give me a hard time when i put a blue dress on her because they think she's a boy and they ask why is that boy wearing a blue dress anyways i know this wasn't a very exciting video but i just wanted to Send a little update out there, put good thoughts out to the universe, you know. So, and since this is coming out on St. Patrick's Day, happy St. Patrick's Day, y'all. If you made it to this point, thank you so, so much. I appreciate your support. If you like this video, please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this one or let me know what you like to see and I'll see what I can do. I'm game for almost anything, so... Let's see what we can do. Take care, guys, and we will be seeing you next time. Bye, guys. I was looking at the wrong side of the camera for the entire video, and I'm still doing it. <sighs> Dang it.